welcome to the channel if you're new or if you're not. I'm Alicia and I am so glad you're here either way. Today we are making something I get so many requests for, especially after my Lighten Up series last month, homemade salad dressing remakes. We'll be making a honey mustard dressing, a thousand island, and a classic French dressing. They are all so easy and a great way to enjoy your favorite store-bought dressings without all those processed ingredients. Let's get started. First up, my homemade honey mustard dressing. In a bowl, add Dijon mustard, extra virgin olive oil, apple cider vinegar, or you could use lemon juice here if you prefer, honey, and salt and pep. Whisk to combine. Ta-da! Dressing, it's that easy. This dressing is so perfectly balanced. The acidity from the mustard and the vinegar is complemented by the sweetness of the honey and the fat from the olive oil. This is a salad dressing, of course, but our team was actually dipping pretzels in it on set. And I have to say, this makes a delicious dip or sauce as well. Next up, a Thousand Island dressing. In a bowl, add mayo. I like to use my homemade avocado oil mayo, but a store-bought is fine. Ketchup, finely minced white onion, relish, white vinegar, paprika, and salt. Whisk to combine. Thousand Island is obviously a classic favorite, and this recipe does not disappoint. It's just sweet enough from the ketchup and the relish and a little tang, too. The onion gives it such a fresh taste, and the paprika adds a depth of flavor that the bottled kind can lack. It also has a slightly chunky texture, which I love. This is totally worth making at home compared to buying the store-bought kind. Okay, the last recipe of the day is my homemade French dressing. But first, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell for more videos like this all the time. My preference for this one is to blend it. So add in some avocado oil or any vegetable oil that you prefer, ketchup, mayo, rough chopped onion, apple cider vinegar, sugar, paprika, onion powder, and salt. Let it rip. Wow, this might be my favorite of the three. Blending the ingredients gives it such a creamy and indulgent texture with a classic tangy and sweet tomato flavor. And you really only need a little bit to add so much flavor to your salad. I wanna reiterate that there is nothing wrong with store-bought dressings, as I discussed with my homemade ranch packet and dressing last month. So lightening up could mean lightening up on ingredients, but it also could mean lightening up on yourself. We put so much pressure on ourselves to be healthy and we have to remember that we're human, you know? So just do the best you can and let that be enough. Thank you so much for being here. Head to mindovermunch.com for more recipes like this and don't forget to subscribe for new videos all the time. I'll see you soon and remember, it's all a matter of mind over munch.